Hi, this is Jane from GamesKeys.net. In this video, we've got something special for you. A comprehensive guide on console commands for 7 days to die. Whether you're a seasoned player or just starting out, these commands can enhance your gameplay and make surviving the apocalypse a bit easier. Alright, let's dive right in. First things first, let's talk about how to access the console. It's simple, just press the F1 key and voila, the console is at your fingertips. Now, if you want to access the debug menu, type DM in the console and hit enter. This unlocks a range of powerful tools for you to play around with. While in the debug menu, you can open the creative menu by typing CM in the console. Alternatively, you can enable creative mode from the start menu. Just select new game, click on the advanced tab and toggle creative mode at the bottom of the list. Need control over the in-game time? Use the set time command. For instance, set time 110705 sets the time to day 11, 7.05 a.m. Easy, right? Feeling lost? Type help in the console to see a list of basic commands. But here's a pro tip. Use help with a specific command, like help set time or help weather, to get detailed instructions on how to use them. Now, let's talk about the weather. Use the weather command to control the skies. For example, weather rain 1 brings on the rain, and to stop it, just type weather rain 0. Time to clear the playing field. In creative mode, enter kill all in the console and poof, all enemies around you disappear. A handy trick when you need a breather. As our debug menu is turned on, we can press the escape key to access the pause menu of the debug menu, where we'll find the debug options in a user-friendly interface. The first option is a bit dark, but sometimes survival means making tough choices. You can find the suicide option, allowing you to end your own life in the game. Next up, we have the teleport. Set your desired coordinates and whisk yourself away to a new location. This is great for exploration or quickly escaping danger. Here you can find the easiest way to set your in-game time. Utilize the sliders in the menu to modify the date and time. Keep in mind that the sliders only go up to day 16. For anything beyond that, you'll need to use the console command we discussed earlier. Adjust the pace of the gameplay with the speed slider. Speed up or slow down time to suit your survival needs. Ever wanted to fly in 7 days to die? Well, now you can. Enable fly mode in the debug menu, press the spacebar to ascend and press C to descend. Explore your world from a whole new perspective. Become invisible with God Mode. Maintain your hunger, cure ailments, and even venture beneath the game's surface. You can also toggle God Mode using the Q key. Pass through objects or become invisible to all entities with these two powerful options. Navigate the game world like never before. Discover points of interest effortlessly by teleporting with the Open POI Teleporter option in the Debug menu. Alternatively, press M to open the map, hold control, and right-click to teleport to specific spots. Sick of the fog obstructing your view? Use the command Weather Fog Zero to clear it away and enjoy a clearer, more immersive experience. If you're in the debug menu, just hit F6 to open the spawn entities menu. It's your gateway to unleashing all sorts of entities into the game. Let's talk about AI control. Toggle AI on or off for spawned entities using the asterisk key on the number pad.
Want to freeze an enemy in its tracks? Press control plus asterisk keys. Easy, right? Now, for those who want a different perspective, press the F5 key to experience the third-person view. It adds a whole new dimension to your gameplay. Feeling adventurous? How about the detached camera mode? Press P to detach the camera. Open square bracket to further detach and close square bracket to reattach. Explore your surroundings like never before. Quick reminder, you'll need admin privileges for the debug menu on multiplayer servers. Keep that in mind. Moving on to the heat map display, type in Lights V in the console to reveal the heat map. Press F8 for additional info, including FPS details. Press F8 again to unveil sound and heat specifics. And when you're done, simply type Lights V again to bid the heat map farewell. Admin tools, anyone? Press I to open your inventory and delve into the creative menu. Unleash a plethora of admin tools, including dev tools such as Super Wrench, Pimp Poncho, Rocket Boots, and many more. Want to check out some heat stats? Select the chemistry station from the creative menu. Put in a wood plank and turn on the fire and watch the heat rise. It's an excellent way to test the game's mechanics. Now for some heavy duty tools. Need something gone instantly? Grab the super digger from the dev tools. It'll make short work of any block. The Hammer of God and Super Wrench are the tools designed for instant destruction and killing. Talk about a game changer. And let's not forget the rocket boots. Activate these bad boys for fast stamina free travel, like flying without wings. Explore even more options under Dev Tools in the Creative Menu. There's a whole arsenal waiting for you. And there you have it, survivors. A quick rundown of some essential console commands in 7 Days to Die. Experiment with these commands, get creative, and most importantly, survive the apocalypse your way. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Until next time, stay alive out there.